Hi everyone, let's begin one way ANOVA where we are going to apply one way ANOVA that is very clear in this statement where we want to compare in statistics I had already defined here in statistics one way analysis of variance is a technique that can be used to compare whether two samples means are significantly different or not. So here is, uh, what is the difference between one-way ANOVA and two-way ANOVA? One-way ANOVA means where is only one independent variable and two-way ANOVA we are going to apply when we have two independent variables. Uh, let's say we have, this is the one very good example, three different fertilizers mixtures. Uh, uh, we want to check whether there is any difference among all three fertilizer mixtures on crop yield. So we will apply ANOVA. So let me take one important case over here. Uh, what is the full form of the ANOVA analysis of variance? So here is first of all, I would like to discuss one way ANOVA only, two way ANOVA we will discuss later on. And uh, here is one example I have taken, an oil company has introduced a new brand of gasoline in its outlets in three major metro cities. However, they are not sure how the new brand is selling at three places since there is a lot of difference in the driving habits of people in three metros. The company selected 10 outlets in each city and tabulated the data on an average daily sale at each of the selected outlets. So in this given table, items 1, 2, 3 in the table represent the three metros. One means Delhi, two means Mumbai, and three means Kolkata. So you can see total data sample is, total is 30, 10 from each city. You can see here metro 1. Metro 1 stands for Delhi. And this is the sale. This is the sale actually from that particular city by selected outlets, right? Then the SIG2 represents next metro that is Mumbai and here is you can say this is the sale and three means we are talking about Kolkata and this is the sale. So these are my two hypotheses you can see here hypothesis let me remove this part reject and uh, that is the later on we will decide whether which one is we are rejecting and which were we are accepting. So, null hypothesis, it says the average sale of the new brand of gasoline is seen in all the metro cities. But alternate hypothesis, the average sale of new brand of gasoline is not seen in all the metro cities. So, we just want to apply ANOVA. After that, we have to check. So, what we will do, let me open my this Excel sheet. We will do this entire analysis in Excel. One way ANOVA, these are the three metro cities. What I did, I have taken because separate column entry, I did it. Otherwise, there would be a lot of confusion. Let me show you. Those entries are representing Delhi. So I have taken, I have just copy and paste all these. Where is the one one is written in this Excel sheet. Where is Mumbai? You can see here Mumbai 8. I mean, these, this is the number 2. Next, 11 to 20. Entries represents Mumbai. So I have copied and pasted it here. And same way I had applied to Kolkata. After that, what we have to do, we want to perform ANOVA using Excel. So what we have to do, very, very important. First of all, you have to do add-ins. Here is, I have to go to file, then options. And in options, add-ins. This is the option you can see, add-ins. You have to click here, add-ins, and the Excel add-ins, and then you have to press go. And go. Here is, you can see, when add-ins, it will reflect. Here is analysis tool pack we required. Then I have to press OK. Then you have to go there, data. And you can see data analysis, it is reflecting here. Then you have to press here, OK. Then ANOVA single factor. Because I am not applying ANOVA two factor with the replication. ANOVA two factor without replication. I am going to apply only ANOVA single factor. So let me press OK. So now what we have to do, this is the, that is the input range. 
So input range is Delhi, Mumbai and Kolkata. I will select it and you can see input range is defined here, right? Here is, you can see, and uh, then the grouped by columns because these three group, groups, these three columns are uh, different from each other. Three groups, Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata, all three groups are representing from different city. So I would press columns and simply I will, and here is output options you require, output range, right? Where you require output range or new worksheet apply our new workbook. So I don't want new, new workbook. I don't want output range. I want new worksheet. That means adjacent to this sheet, there would be new worksheet would be open. A moment I would press OK. So now you can see I had pressed OK, right? And uh, now you can see I'm just, uh, what I'm doing, I just bigger this size. You can see here an over single factor and you can see group column one. Column one represents 10 counts. Yes, we have taken 10 outlets entry, 10 outlets sale of Delhi city. And uh, sum, sum means total sum of all these values. You can see this is the sum of these values, right? After this average, average means that is divided by 137 divided by 10. So that is the average and variance. I had already explained you variance means mean value distance, right? Mean value distance and whole square mean we have to take it that is variance same way column two same thing we had applied column three also same thing we had applied now i would like to discuss all those things here now i had prepared a sheet for you you can see here uh, same sheet source of variation this is the anova analysis between groups within groups between groups means those are the three groups Right, what is the source of the variation? And uh, SS stands, uh, stands for sum of squares. That quantifies the variability between or within the groups. That is the SS. Degree of freedom means degree of freedom. That is the between group, how we are going to calculate what we have to do, total number of groups minus one. And in this analysis, total number of groups are three because I have taken Delhi, Mumbai and Kolkata. So three minus one, so it is degree of freedom is two. And in the case of the within the groups, you can see here SS is 121, degree of freedom is how come is 27? Because number of observation minus number of groups. And in my case, you can see total number of groups, one, two, three, and number of observations, T, I mean, here is the, 10 observations in each group. So 10 multiplied by 3. So 30 minus 3. So you can see here 30 minus 3 means 27 is the degree of freedom. Then MS stands for mean square means average variations between groups and within groups. Mean square mean average variation. And after that, and you can see here how we are going to calculate this MS. Simply, we will divide SS divided by degree of freedom. When you will divide this column with this column, 319 divided by 2, that is your MS, right? And after that, same way, 121 divided by 27, this is your MS, mean square mean. And here is you can see F statistics. F statistics here is between groups divided by within groups. Between groups divided by within groups. So how we are going to, you can see here, MS between groups, if we will divide this number by this number, you will get F statistics. And this is the p-value. P-value is very less, it's less than 0 .00, 0 0.05, it's very less. And this is the F critical. F critical are simply, here is you can see uh, F critical value that could be your simply a table value. When your F statistics is greater than F critical value, then that means test is significant. 
So let me check what is the p-value. It's very less, 0 0.05, right? So I had already explained you when the p-value is less than 0 0.05. In that case, alternate hypothesis will be accepted and null hypothesis will be rejected. But when the p-value is greater than 0 0.05, in that case, we are rejecting alternate hypothesis and null hypothesis we are failed to reject. We are failed to reject null hypothesis. So what is my um, results, my interpretation? I have, uh, I, I would like to just show you. I had already explained you, I have a statistics variance due to difference between groups divided by error variance, right? Here is, now you can see, this is my interpretation. And you can see here, this interpretation I have taken from SPSS. Now, I just want to show whether the results are same, those I have taken from SPSS and those we had I had uh, obtained from Excel sheet. So, you can see F value is 35.54. 524 and I'm sure the same results we have received from Excel also. Yes, exactly same, exactly same. These results are exactly same. And after that, we can compare this p-value is given as less than 0 0.000 and that is very uh, same is here. You can see here, it's very small, right? And after that, we can see here, um, we can safely reject the null hypothesis and conclude that the average sale of the new brand of gasoline is not same in all the all three metros. So alternate hypothesis, what it said, the average sale of the new brand of gasoline is not same in all the metro cities. So that means that is proven by this ANOVA, one way ANOVA. So that means we can say in all three metro cities, sale is significantly different it's not exactly same that is why we had rejected null hypothesis accepted alternate alternate hypothesis so i hope this video is very helpful to you and i'm sure in the next video i am going to test uh, two way anova as well as post hoc test also whether it is positive or negative thank you keep watching